everybody. Welcome to Cox Connections. Brad Grunmeyer, Director of Public and Government Affairs for Cox, Louisiana. Thank you so much for tuning into our show. As New Orleans is rich with such culture and music and dance and all that really people love to celebrate and more so come and see as tourists. Uh, we here in New Orleans, of course, uh, are very much uh, doing our part to embrace that and to, if not pass it forward or pay it forward at least to to start a new generation who appreciate uh, whether it's music or the arts or or dance for that matter. And uh, happy to be joined by Casa Samba, Brazilian Dance Company's director, Curtis Pierre. Curtis, thanks for coming by today to talk about In Fungata. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Which uh, is a great uh, visionary organization here in New Orleans for the last five years. We'll talk about that in just a second. But mm -hmm. while I have you here, Curtis, I wanted to, if you wouldn't mind, tell me a little bit about Casa Samba. You know, we're talking uh, 20 years ago, you started this organization. Yes. Yeah, so, so what, what an amazing ride you've had in the past 26 yeah, years. Yeah, it's been uh, quite amazing and uh, quite an experience as well. Uh, we, we started it back in 1986, uh, and uh, that's when the inception came. Yeah. And the name is an acronym, uh, Casa Samba. It's called uh, Cosmopolitan Amigo Samba Association. Oh. So uh, we started that in, uh, like I said, 1986. And we've grown and to, uh, to this, uh, I guess you would call a, a cultural, actually a Brazilian cultural association because people are constantly calling me and uh, the group about information on Brazil. Um, I actually got a call, a few calls about um, were we the Brazilian consulate? <laughs> right. Yes. And will you be coming to the Olympics? <laughs> yeah. So, but um, yeah, we have we have. That, but I, I think most of the main purpose, and a lot of people know uh, <laughs> Casa Samba about uh, its work in the community with uh, with the youth. Yes. Um, I I started off a long time ago with you know working with youth youth in the school system, yes. after schools, mm -hmm. uh, summer camps. Uh, actually, I think uh, I was one of the first ones involved in making a teen camp for, uh, for, for uh, teenage students. And uh, so we've come a long way. And so we wanted to, to, to be involved in this particular event uh, from Infungata because we thought it was uh, sort of on the same, uh, the same ideas that we had in yep. mind for spreading the, the, the culture to the community. Now, the event took place uh, back in uh, November at yes. NOCA, which yes. is, of course, a phenomenal site. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the purpose? I heard you had listeners with over 100 individuals who were able to participate. Yeah, and it was like youth, uh, different, a lot of different ages. It wasn't just for uh, a few people. You know, like a set amount of like experienced or uh, non-experienced. Yep. It was for everybody, all ages, and that was the that's the the sole purpose of this of of the mission for Infungata, is to is to give everybody an opportunity to see all of the other dance companies mm -hmm. that are in the city. And any idea what we're talking about as far as numbers of dance companies that are in the city, Curtis? You have any idea? Oh, there's there's quite a I few. I think because a lot of people would be surprised. Yes, they would be very and and the 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 range. Of of dance companies that, that and diversity of yes such, yeah. diversity and range I think it's really really large and um, although all of the companies in the cities weren't there just a, uh, I would say a handful of, of uh, the ones that's been there in the last three years with this they uh, they have represented the culture that's actually you know in the city but we also represent when we go out and represent uh, at, at a uh, at a an event like this, we're not just talking about ourselves. We're sure. showcasing, showcasing all the artists and all of the companies because there are other people like us there. And that's what I think is one of the best things about this event. So Dance for Life, um, it, it was really to create a more so ongoing mm -hmm. kind of this cultural opportunities available in the world and let people understand the full scope. Yes, yes. And, and by them having different guest artists every year, it really makes it... Um, a great event to go to because you can see something different every year. They try to showcase a little bit different talent every year. Uh, fortunately, I've been there every year because uh, they're all, uh, besides of being affiliates, we're also good friends. Yep. And uh, and I believe in the mission that they're doing, and I think it's it's an excellent idea to showcase the talent. Uh, and and it's a, it's about an all thing, not you know just an individual thing. Yep. It's about all the talent. And I mean, all the uh, dance companies here in, in the city. And, as well. and the, the nice part about it, too, is, you know, when you think of organizations, dance 
um, companies, et cetera. You think they're just professionals, they're great, mm -hmm. uh, th that's as, they're as good as they're ever going to get. That's mm -hmm. not true because no. they, uh, like anybody, they need to continue to hone in on their craft, whether that's body conditioning and that's, other yes. types of music to experiment with and to kind of go outside of your realm and your comfort zone and, and challenge yourself to embrace that's, new that's types the, of music. That's the good thing about it because that's a, a big uh, misconception of uh, New Orleans talent that you know everybody is really right you know at this level at right. this great level and some people are not but this this particular um, event kind of showcases the wide range of, of talent that they yep. have in the city and it kind of identifies the the people who have been actually dedicated to what they're doing and the people who are just kind of like doing it just for the fun of it or you know but this this is a really good opportunity to to showcase uh, your 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 group and the styles group. of music hip hop Haitian music and mm -hmm. dance jazz and Brazilian music and dance mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. there's a a good variety a diversity yeah. of that exactly. of the types of music and styles that are out there for them too exactly and 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 just about each of those genres, there is other ones within not just Brazilian music, there's all types of Brazilian yep. music. There's a lot of different types of jazz you dance. Down further. There's yeah. a lot of different types of hip hop dan uh, dance and movements that, you know, it's not just that, that's just one genre, but in, when you go inside, it's a lot more to, to that you can find. So out. in Fungata, local nonprofit focusing on survival, education, mm -hmm, promoting mm -hmm. music and dance, culturally mm -hmm. rooted here in, in the New city. Orleans and of course the African yes. uh, diaspora. Mm -hmm. What, uh, if someone is watching the show right now and mm -hmm. may be interested in learning a little bit more about the organization, mm -hmm. Um, information you can give to us on that more so uh, do they meet on a regular basis or are they have programs like a, a well you can go to their program. website yep. and uh, find out all the information in fungal uh, that you can you can find out all the information you want to do if you want to do some networking if you want to do oh, some type right. of uh, collaboration with the next dance for life program if you have a program that that you're thinking about doing they can really help with this as well so if you want to partner with them uh, and uh, we have actually partnered on a, not just Dance for Life on a number of different occasions, and it's been really successful. And I, I, I urge any company that wants to, you know, to to branch out and do something a little different. This is like one of the perfect organizations to to partner with because they're not about self; they're right. about you know making enriching the, the community as and a I whole think, yes yeah. and I think that's that's one of the most beautiful things about it that that their goal is community not you know just about self in fungata what does it mean uh, I would ha I, I can't I can't really tell you what it means but in and it's more in of my an expression inter my interpretation of what in infung fungata means is about including all the different uh, diasporas and genres of music and arts all put together as a whole as a whole that's what that's what I was I was told it was at, at the event. event was uh, in November is that going to be an annual event uh, yes that's yeah. an annual event yeah this was the third year that it was held and uh, we we're we we're looking forward to doing it again next year well, let's remind again everybody of the web address. Go to infungata.com. Or if you'd like to, for more information, you can give them a call at 504-943-9779. Curtis, thank you so much. We'll have you back okay. down the road talk about Casa Summer, if that you don't mind. That sounds good. I would love to do that. All right, everybody. Get you in a costume. Yeah, there you go. Stop that. <laughs> All right, we'll be back uh, with more. Thank you so much for tuning in. Cox Connections. See you next time.